Claudio Torres leading the Mustangs into DVC action after their fourth place finish at the Conant Invitational. They take on an Equa Valley squad looking to rebuild after a disappointing season last year. Wildcats up 6-0 in the meet after AJ Lighthall earned a pin in the 182 pound class. Mustangs get those points right back with a pin of their own from Dylan Irvin at 195. We drop down to the 106 pound division. Meek was Anand Shah taking on freshman Tommy Rouse. And Shah taking the underclassmen to school. Grabbing a near fall here in the second period to go up 13-0. Then just under a minute into the third, Shah puts all of his weight down on Rouse to get the pin and grab six points. But Matias still up 15-12 overall. The Mustangs would take control of the meet from there. Philip Sims grabbed a 12-6 decision to give Matia three points. Then Yuri Ariza here at 120 earns another pin for the Ponies to go up 24-12. We skip ahead to the 145 pound class. Jake Topher scores the two point takedown on Adam McGovern. Then a minute later, Topher able to flip McGovern onto his back, holding onto his wrist. McGovern with nowhere to go and Topher earns six more for the Mustangs. The third Mustang to win their match by pinfall. Wildcats grab the next nine points. Final match of the night is at 170. Zach Greenberg taking on Alan Sims. Greenberg gets two points for this takedown. Then in the third period, this bull rush of a takedown helps him earn an 11-3 decision. But the Mustangs are able to hang on for the win. As a team, I think we're doing pretty well. Like, to be honest, we all thought we were gonna do a lot better, but it, like, we are like, like half young, half old team, so I guess like it's it kind of goes with it because of our like second half, the young part. Like they still have to learn a little bit. Sometimes I'll give the kids a challenge during the match, you know, like 10 seconds or 15 seconds to do this, or I'll give you 20 seconds. I'm looking for this move that I know he might be working on during the season. You know, maybe he's not really good in this position. So what do we do during the match? We put him in that position. So. You know, you challenge them. That's it. It's nice that the team's working hard, and um, we're, again, we're practicing what we do in the room, and I feel like that's the best we've wrestled since I've been here, and I'm a senior, so we're getting there. We're working. Last year, we didn't. it, was, it wasn't the best season. We had a lot of freshmen and uh, sophomores, but now we have some upperclassmen, and we've been wrestling in the room for a while, so it's looking a lot better. I told all the kids at the end of the night, we won, no injuries. Let's take it and keep going.